Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Sam and today guys we're going to be talking about the Polaris General and we're going to give you the top things that I love and the top things that I hate. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So this is the Polaris General. This is the two-seater with the 1000cc motor in it. It's got the Fox podium shocks in there and I'm going to tell you right now guys this is a really smooth and comfortable machine. All right guys before I jump into the things that I love about this Polaris General and the things that I hate if you're not already subscribed hit the subscription button also if you want to help out the channel there's a link in the description it takes you to Rocky Mountain ATV if you click on that or buy any parts through that link we get a small commission thank you and I appreciate it, it helps us to continue to do content like this. All right, we've had this Polaris General for a few years. We've taken on multiple hunting, camping, just out riding type trips. We've had it for a few years now. And so really familiar with it. Now, the thing that I absolutely love about this machine is how smooth it is. It is really smooth. It, it handles very well. Big fan of that. The second thing is, is I really love the power. So the power on this rig is fantastic. It gets up and goes and it's really smooth. The other thing that I really love, so maybe the third thing that I love about this is the interior. So the interior has, is almost truck-like. The, you know, the extras that Polaris gives you, like the, you know, the Polaris Ride Command and the GPS and all of the extra screens and the backup camera it makes you feel like you're in a mini truck and the fit and finish where you know the seats are really nice the cockpit's really nice and the last thing that I absolutely love about this is the size it is really compact which means you can fit into places you can go down trails without having to worry about being too big it just really is a great size for a UTV all right guys those are the things that I absolutely love now here's the things that I absolutely hate. So the number one thing that actually, actually drives me bonkers is this. Now it's not what you think. It's not the actual windshield. The windshield is fine. It's the position of where you're sitting in the seat basically means you're looking at the very top of your windshield, including your windshield wiper. You cannot see. I'm 5'11", I'm not super tall, so anyone that's taller than me is not going to be able to see out, or it's going to be way worse, and you're going to be having to look down, try to look through the windshield. And, and after a long day of riding of where you're trying to look down the, the trail as far as possible, it really is annoying. Hate that. I wish players would fix that. And the next thing that, that I do not like is I feel like the CVT is just really clunky, especially when you're trying to go downhill and it's wanting to stop you so from like you know zero to 12 miles per hour it's like really lurchy uh, really annoying some of our other utvs don't do that um, but that's that doesn't mean that players won't hold you back it actually does hold you back really well and if you let off the gas it will slow you down but when you're still trying to keep a slower speed you know say seven to eight miles per hour sometimes it's super lurchy and high so the way around that is you have to shift it into low. It's just super annoying, it really bothers me. Just gonna let it go for three, four, five. So we're in high. See the age there, it's doing a pretty good job. Four. Six was the highest we got to. So now we're in low. Let's see the zero mile per hour. We're crawling. It's crawling at one. Wow. So we're really crawling down this hill. Should I get, I'm gonna give a little bit of gas to see if it'll break loose. Two. Nope, slows me down. Got up to seven and see if it'll slow me down to almost one miles an hour. So Polaris is holding me back. Touching the 
the gas or anything. This is the steepest one. So that says one and that says two miles per hour. Huh. Let's, let's goose it to see if we can get it. There, it broke loose. It still went and slowed me down. There's even a rear view mirror right there. Check that out. There's even a rear view backup camera. So you've got a map and all that fun stuff. You've got a speed here. 25, 30, 40, 50, 55. This is where it came up. Whoa, it does not feel nearly as secure at high speed. All right, the last thing about this machine is that I absolutely hate is how much it costs. This is a very expensive UTV for, you know, ripping around the trails and hunting. Am I upset that we have this? No, but I feel like for what you get, man, it is, it's a lot of money. And, you know, is it a very good utility vehicle? Not necessarily. So around the farm, we don't use it at all. It doesn't really have much of a bed. It's great for ripping down trails. It's a great trail machine. And that's what I would say that it, where it shines is just going at a good clip down the trails. Not the desert, not the big whoops, and definitely not for, for the farm. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what I got right and what I got wrong. I look forward to hearing from you. See you out on the trail.